Well, good evening. Hi, it's Diane Evans with StampingWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Western British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining me, I'm so glad that you have. Um, this is part of my series. It's my What Now? series. So the whole purpose of this series is to basically go into your stamp studio and to pick out something that you purchased and you might be having issues with it. You may not be having issues with it. Um, but I hope that I can give you some tips along the way. Plus also we'll make a card. Um, I like to, I have really no concept of how this card's going to go together. I'm kind of doing it on the fly, which is kind of my style anyways. So like I say, welcome to stampingwithdiane.com. Um, if you are on YouTube, make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you're on Facebook, um, and you're on my page, make sure that you like it. And then you also get notified every time that I um, go on live. Hello, Peggy. Long time no talk. <laughs> In any event, I, I, I am so glad that you joined me tonight. Um, I think this is one of my favorite things that I've started doing. This is my mystery challenge. Um, just because I've switched up my mystery challenge, I, I am really having a lot of fun with it. And that's the whole point, right? Hopefully you enjoy it, but hopefully um, I enjoy it as well. Oh, Maureen from Newfoundland. Oh my goodness, we've got, got to get in touch because I said that I would do something for you. And by all means, I will do something for you. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to play with some punches. Now, we all have punches. We all do different things, but do you have those builder punches? Do you have those punches that you, you go, oh, why did I get those? Like, you know, like there's, there's ways of using them and there's ways. Hopefully I'm going to show you something that makes it a little bit easier. So let me just go down to my desktop and let's get going. Hello, Kathy. So like I say, what I want to do is I want to show you how to use these builder punches. Um, there's a reason why they're all on these um the way that they are on the punches but also ah we have joanne also from ontario welcome anyways i want to show you some tips and tricks on using these um building punches i i love these punches um they can be very um how would i say it they can be very cumbersome you can do an awful lot of things that make them so that um, you can make them so that they're easier. So there's a few in our catalog right now. There's this one that goes together with the stamp set, the cute little snowman. Then you also have the flowers of friendship. And like I say, wouldn't it be easier to actually be able to punch these all out together? So this, there's this one. And, you know, honestly, I love the font on this particular stamp set. And then let me just move those out because we are going to use one that I have not used enough of. And the reason I haven't used this that much was for the longest time, you couldn't get the stamp set. So hello, Darlene. Anyways, this is the punch that goes along with this sweet strawberry um, stamp set. But you notice that these punch punches out the strawberries, the little flowers, these flowers here the um the tops and also these leaves as well and like i say i'm going to show you a way that i hope that this alleviates and or actually gives you some um tips that are going to help you along the way i am going to also bring in my stamparatus i i love the stamparatus and i love it when you can actually do different things with the stamparatus as well so what I'm going to do is, and I've already got them mounted on here, but it's not going to work. I'm going to remount them so that you see how I do them. So I'm going to come in with, and I'm going to grab a piece of scrap. Let's do, oh, I'm going to take a piece that is kind of off the wall. And I want this piece to be, three inches by three and three eighths inches. So I'm just going to bring in my trimmer. And the reason I want it to be 
that size is because you'll see in just a second why it's so important to have that that size so let me just go in i'm going to measure this three inches or just a just a tad less than a sixteenth and three and three eighths well that wasn't very smart was it so we're going to go three and three eighths inches and by three inches and just a tad smaller than three inches. And the only reason I'm using this um, Bermuda Bay paper is so that you can actually see it. All right, so let's go. And I'm going to bring this in with onto my Stamparatus. And I am going, I am actually going to take my punch and let's punch it out first. So I'm just going to take this. I think this is the way I want to do it. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this. I'm lining it up. Is this the way I want to do it? Yes. I can line it up anyway to get it to work. So I've gone ahead and I punched that out. But I now have a template. And this is what I'm going to use as a template for my, my stamp set. So I'm going to put this in such a spot that I know where it's going. So and then I tend to also mark on my grid lines where I'm lining this stamp up. So I'm just going to line it up or this piece of paper and I'm just going to line it up so that it's right there. Now you notice when I did this punch, I pushed it right down to the very, very bottom. And that's really important. I'm saying I did that, but did, did I do that? Oops. It's the opposite way, that's why. All right, so I pushed that right down to the bottom. I like to be able to use a punch and push it right down to the bottom, which is right down to this part that's down there. So like I say, it goes like that. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to line this up right like so. And all I'm doing is I'm trying to give you an easy way of lining this up. We want to make that stick. Now, sometimes what I might do is I might come in with my seal and I'm going to just put it down on there. I know the magnet holds it and it's strong but it doesn't hold it quite like I want it to, but I don't want it so that I can't get the cardstock up as well. All right, so I've got that in there like that. So now I have, and I've, I'm just going to actually take these off and I'm going to line up these pieces on here. So, I don't think this flower has any way that it goes in particularly. So I'm going to put that there. Now, I'm coming in with my, my Stamparatus, and I'm going to do this individually. And the reason I want to do that is that I want to do it so that I know it's in the position that I want it. Now, I'm going to try to get this positioned just in the middle. And we may have to move this in a bit just going to get that on there. Now I could put this onto one a block and use it as a block, but I find that what I I'm going to put another piece down here so that and let's go and just I don't want it too sticky, right? And so I've got those two pieces on there now. And like I say, we're going to check this out after. I have my little leaf bit, and these are all the outlined pieces. So I'm gonna get that in the middle. Now, if these do tend to stick to your fingers and to your nails, you can use your take your pick tool, which I think I will go in and use that. Hello, Janet. All right, so let's go. And hopefully that's in the right spot. And like I say, I could do it all at once or I do it a tiny little bit at a time. Now, where did I put? Oh, there's my leaf. Okay. 
and we're just going to put this right in there. Like I say, we're going to end up, we're going to double check that as well. All right. So there we have that part. Now, let's see how well we've got that lined up. So I'm just going to come in with my memento ink. And we're just going to double check that. So let's go and let's keep our fingers crossed. It was lined up before I took it off. So, um, yeah. By the way, I am going to do... Um, a video on how to make your own Chucky. It's pretty simple. Once you see it, you're going to go, oh, why did I need a video for that? Now, this strawberry is not quite in the right spot. So I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to move it a little bit. There. And the rest are pretty good. Sticking to my... There, I'm thinking that that's going to be okay. Yep, pretty good. Okay, so now what I could do is I could take this, this template off, and we want to make sure it's in the right spot. I could turn around and I can just check it in here, off to the back side of here, of our thing and the thing that is off by a tiny little bit is the flower so let's go in and let's just move that flower just a little bit I might regret doing that but it should be okay I'm going to come in with my take your pick tool and let's get that so it's kind of in there yeah I think that's right okay so now what I can do is I can come in with my paper that I've got measured out. Now I gotta make sure I've got that paper in the right spot. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna line this up to the top part there. And you can, like I say, you can do this with any of those, um, the stamp builder, the builder punches, um, because it'll work just great that way. So let's just stamp this part up. Hello, Sherry. Okay, so let's go. And you know what? I'm going to stamp a couple of them. Oh, maybe I should check first. Let's check. Okay, so I'm just going to come in. Remember, this goes right down to the very, very bottom. And see, when I push that right in there like that, Just off by a bit, but I can live with that. So then we've just punched that. I'm just going to put that into my bin. And you know what I should have done? And I'm going to do that now. Is I should have stamped the other part to it. So you could either go in, because I'm using the memento, you could go in and you could actually color these with your blends. Or you can go and you can... Now, isn't that silly? Where is that? Oh, there's black table. Can't see the black ink. Okay, so let's get that stamped up like so. But like I say, you could turn around and you could, at this point, you could uh, color them with your blends. Or why don't I show you how easy it is to line this up and let's go and stamp. So I'm going to actually do the strawberry um, I'm using, I, well, I pulled out um, a Poppy Parade red. So I'm just going to go in. This is a distinctive stamp. Now, am I going to get that straight? Now, I could also line up these distinctive stamps. Um, I didn't want to trust my luck that way. So let's go. Oh, this needs re-inking. There we go. 
And then I'm going to come in with my leaf. Now, should I use granny apple green or should I use pear pizzazz for the leaves? I'm going to actually just go here and I'll show you what the pear pizzazz looks like. There. And the granny apple green, I think, is going to be too green. All right, so let's just go ahead and put this right here. Great minds, Kathy. I just got your message now that it's pear pizzazz. That granny apple green would have looked okay. Now this. Now if your stamps don't stick, what all you need to do is you just need to come in and you just need to wipe the back off with your chamois or with a cloth and then just stick that on. So I'm thinking that the strawberry flower should probably be a yellow. Am I right? Or should it be a red? Oh my goodness. I didn't even look that up. Help me. <laughs> okay. And let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what it is. I tend to sneeze every Thursday night. All right. So, um, white with the yellow center. I could do that. Of course, I could go ahead and do that. I do not think, if I'm going to do the yellow center, I do not think that it would be wise to um, stamp that. So, I'm going to just come in with my Daffodil Delight. Just there we go. All right, so now, now that we've got those colored, what we can do is I can come in here and just get that where it's supposed to be on this thing there. If it's a bit high, what I should do is just trim off a tiny little bit, but we'll be okay. So I've got those, and we need to do a couple more. So, and where did that white flower go to? There it is. All right, so let's go ahead and do another one, just to show you how simple it really is. So let's bring in another piece of the basic white. Line it up here. And like I say, it can be done with any of these. It makes it very, very quick when you go to do this. So let's just. Do that. Let's quickly just stamp that. I really like that strawberry, that color. must have been my day to visit with the neighbors today because everyone's curious why my house isn't done. <laughs> uh, my neighbors don't see me outside too much. They were, they're kind of worried about me because they never see me is what I was told. And when I told them that, oh my goodness, I get to stamp with all my friends, they weren't as worried. All right, let's go in with our pear pizzazz and we'll just, we'll do a couple of them. And if I need a bit more, I can just go in and do another one. It's got a bit of a halo on it, but I'm sta I'm punching those out, so it's okay. There. Let's go ahead and get this little bit. These are so easy to line up here. I don't think that I would take the time to do the lineup of the other, you know, um, the solid ones. The first time it does tend to take a little bit more time, but it's well worth it. Now, where did I put that blend? Okay. 
And I think it would look really good if I use some soft saffron. I just kind of gave a bit of a yellow tinge there as well. Here we go. So I'll go ahead and I'll punch that out as well. But, you know, think of it if you're doing a mass production of them. It's so much easier to just go in here like this. Now, the other part that you could do, and I'll show you how that, that part can be done as well. So, there I got that. All right. Now, if you wanted to, because this lines up exactly, well, I think it lines up this way this way what you could do is this is a template that I could go ahead and I could put my my piece in there because I've just gone to punch it so you have two options with this and then I could just go in stamp that part there And then I've got this image there. So see, there are two different ways of doing it. And I think because I've got that done and I might need it, I'm going to go and let's just stamp this. I should have put this on a smaller piece or a smaller block. There we go. There we go. Oh, and that's one that's not quite as ripe. So I hope that helps with lining that up. Like I say, um, this works really good with this stamp set. You can go ahead and line that up. The only thing that I have a little bit of an image with or a hard time with is the carrot nose, but I would just punch that out with pumpkin pie anyways, or it works really good with this. All right, so now let's go and put a card together. And like I say, it was my day of, when I say visiting with the neighbors, I haven't talked to them for probably over a year. Um, so I made up for that. It was three hours that I talked with them. I'm just not that type of person to talk that long. Well, I am, but you know, people know I Anyways, we'll just keep quiet about that part. So I've got some Poppy Parade here. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'm just going to go in and score into the mountain. Now I thought I'd kind of put some black on here because I wanted to use some gingham on here as well. So I think I'll put that there. I'm going to put this here. And I can put, and I might cut this down. I think I will cut that down, but I want to stamp on this piece here. So I have this fantastic um, one here and it doesn't get colored in with anything, but I can just quickly just color that part in. I'm going to have this coming out and I'm hoping this looks okay. Like I say, I really didn't put this card together. So, hmm, wonder. You know what? I'm going to leave it blank for now just to see how that works. Now, I do want to put the sentiments on there. So I think what I'll do is I'll layer onto that and then we'll go from there. So let me just bring in my glue. Layer the black onto there. I love black and red. And I am stuck on gingham. And this is going to have to be cut down to, this is, that was four by five and a quarter. This is three and three quarters by five. So I'm going to actually bring in my little trimmer again. And I think what I'll do is I will trim that down to one and three quarters, maybe one and five eighths, maybe. I think it needs it. And then I'm going to trim off. Oh boy, I'm really wing in this I'm just going to cut off this much and hopefully it's not too much Ooh, almost too much 
well, I could, I could fix that. Hi, Kylie. Say hello to Kylie. Kylie's one of our counterparts on our um, design team for the Creativity Abounds. So, and she's from Australia. All right, so I've got this and let's just go in. I've got my strawberries. This one's not very ripe, that's for sure. Oh, you know what? I probably should have done a couple of those. So let me go, that would go on there. Hmm, this one can go on. That's going the right way, right? You know what? I think this would be better if it has a black or a red border. What do you think? I think I'm going to do a red border. So I am going to cut this and I think I'll come in with my proper trimmer and I'm going to cut this five inches. And that was one and five eighths, right? Is that what I said it was? Ooh, yeah, red. One and five eighths. So, you know, I could lose. And where did I put that? That's awful. I may have to cut another piece. Oh, there it is. One and five eighths. So this is going to have to be cut down. One, one and five eighths. I'm going to go one and three quarters. That's only going to be, you know what? I'm going to go one and seven eighths. I can always cut it back, right? This was one and five eighths, one and seven eighths. So. Yes, and I will cut this to five inches. Did I say five? I'm going to cut this to one and four and three quarters. There we go. All right. Like I say, I'm kind of winging this card as we go. So let's put that... This is going to go onto this card. I'm hoping that's thin enough. It's going to go there and we're going to put these on here. On there. This should have been a little bit thinner, I think. Yes, I'm thinking just a tad thinner. Sorry about that, but I am going to cut that just uh, just a bit. That's a problem with them. Um, so oh, one and three quarters, and then this will be one and a half. That should be good. Let's try that out. Yeah, I can live with that, and it's crooked. Oh, dang it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. And it's a little bit long. I am having my issues with measurements today, that's for sure. Let's just do that. See if that's right. I'm thinking that the white piece was a little short. There we go. All right, so I'm just actually going to put this on here. We're going to make that decision. I'm going to do it right now. And let's put that on there. And we're going to put that there. And like I say, use this um, technique. Now, do we need ribbon on there? Should I put the ribbon on? Yeah, I'm all about this checkered ribbon. I don't know if it's going to go on there or not. We'll, we'll play with that. We'll see how that goes. Now, the other thing that I thought I should do is I should stamp a sentiment. And I want to make a birthday card. And this, this one actually has a really cute birthday 
sentiment on it. It says, happy birthday, you sweet thing. I find this photopolymer stands always stick to my fingers. So, okay. That, you know what? I'm going to cut it out so it'll be okay. So I'm just coming in and we are going to use the embossing buddy. We are going to use some Versamark and we're going to use white embossing powder. I think this will really make it stand out. There we go. Let's just put that there. Do my white embossing powder. But I hope that gave you some tips on how to use those builder punches. There we go. And our heat tool. Who doesn't love embossing? So I'm just, I'm not moving it around. I'm just getting it started and then it can go from there. There we go. And I'm going to actually cut that out too. Let's just. I really like it when you do this sort of stuff that way you don't even have to have your sentiment straight. Cheater. But anything. Right. There we go. All right. So let's put this card together. You know what? I can put that right on there now. Right, like so. Oops, that slid on me. You want it to have that wiggle room, but you don't want it to wiggle once you've got it placed, that's for sure. Oop, you know what? It's going to be one of those times that you got to pull it up and go from there. There we go. And we can go ahead and... You know, I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. I'm not sure why, but I might need to have those on. And by me putting these dimensionals like this, I shouldn't get that sag in the middle. I should have put some on the back of those while I was doing that, but that's okay. All right, so this is just going to go off to the side here. And then I've got these. And where did that other green one go to? There's that one. And, you know, I went ahead and I stamped some other ones before. So I can just take that and show you how much easier it is to actually stamp before you punch. Let's see. Come on, here we go. So I'm just gonna take that and then let's just take my pear pizzazz. And we'll just stamp that up. Oh dear. Okay. We might be off on this one. I am thinking that we are off. Not too bad. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and put those onto 
her strawberries. I do have these right, right? That makes sense to me that they're like that. But that doesn't mean anything. That's right, right ladies? Okay, let's get that on. Do that. So I don't know if people know about my problems that I'm having. I'm having problems with pack rats. I'm having problems with wasps. And then I said I found a garter snake out in my front yard. And I was just talking with the neighbors. And um, I was talking with the neighbors and I was sitting there talking about these garter snakes. And he says, yeah, he was having problems with them. And I go to bring in my garbage cans this afternoon. And what's there wiggling along the cement is a garter snake. Now, it's a baby one, but still it's a snake, right? Awful. I'm going to put that right about there. Then we're going to decide how these should get. No, nope, this one wasn't as close as it should have been. So I'm just going to quickly just trim that one down. These were one of the ones I did from before. All right, like that. Let's put these leaves on here. Let's see how we're going to do that. And there. We've got some of these. I think we might need another green leaf. So let's just quickly go in with our pear pizzazz again. Um, well, if those garter snakes would kill my pack rats, I'd be very, very happy, Peggy. But um, I also have a pond. Now, I was on the internet and my koi are too big for the, uh, the um, garter snakes to eat. But apparently the koi could eat the garter snakes, which makes me very, very, very happy. Um, but in any event, okay, let's see how that works. I'm going to just put this one on there. Oh, I am, I am afraid. I am so afraid of snakes. And that's why I've always said, oh, I don't know if I could go to Australia because you guys have some pretty deadly snakes. I don't know if I could go there. Spiders I'm okay with. We have some pretty deadly spiders here. Um, I know I, we're so used to black widows here that that's kind of, it's not a real big issue. I mean, I have them. I've seen them in my yard many times, especially around my rocks and my, my pond. But, oh my goodness. Snakes. Snakes belong in the jungle. Don't you think? I believe they belong in the jungle. All right, so let's, I'm going to put dimensionals on these too. It's all about dimension on this particular one. We might need to do an on, well, this five, three. Let's put, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Kelly. I'd love to go visit, but I am petrified. Like, I mean, petrified of snakes they just ugh, they're um yeah and i mean where i live i'm on the rattlesnake side of the river um i'm not right where the really bad um incidents of um garter snakes are so just trying to find a dimensional for these. Um, but, yeah. No, I... I mean, it's pretty bad when you scream when the snake is only about that big. But, that's me. Okay. And I just... There we go. We'll see if I need this one. Oh, up a little, you bet. There we go there. I am sorry. I didn't realize I went off. Oh, you don't like spiders, Kylie? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with spiders. Not big ones. Not like a tarantula or anything like that. But I would imagine they're pretty big. Now, where did that other flower go? I'm going to steal one from in here and just color that. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think that's looking okay. There. Now, I think I need to... Hmm. Let's bring in my favorite embellishment. I have not used this enough. I've always, I wanted to go and do a card that's kind of like this. And the reason I did was, but then all of a sudden we couldn't get that stamp set for the longest time. It's like that turtle one. You can't get the turtle one here in North America. Ah, oh, thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and put some of these black dots on here these are the black matte dots oh I should put one there because there's a bit of a that's an opportunity there right well it's going to go right about there so there's my card I hope you liked it like I say that's using the builder punches I hope that I helped you with um, how to line them up and get them so that you can actually um, do your um, stamping or your punching all at once. Or like I say, you can use it and then use it as a template, punch them out and use it as a template. Um, that's a bit more work where this is a little bit less work to do. So I'm hoping, like I say, that you like that. Thank you. So that's my what now. Um, not sure what I'm going to do next week. This one's been sitting on my mind for quite a while to do. Um, and um, but give me suggestions if there's certain things that you would. Oops, there's certain things that you would like for me to do. I would love to show you different things. I do have a list going. So um, and it sort of just hits me how I want to do it. So in any event. Um, have a good evening and make sure that you share this with somebody. Make sure that um, I'd love to see your cards using um, these builder punches. Like I say, this one is a lot of fun. I I love it. This one, I think, I, I think it's that little card, big thanks, is, is what really turns me on with this one. But this one's such a pretty one. And if you cased it from the catalog, it's a beautiful wreath on there as well. Anyways. Have a good evening and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.